Mmm, that sounds good. Right, guys so we're here and we are getting some cleaning done on the 392 green hornet and boom using the meguars heavy duty bug and tar remover we already sprayed that on and pressure washed the front now i'm gonna wipe her down a little bit see if see how she's looking as far as uh clean cleanliness goes and i'm gonna spray some other uh ceramic coating products on it as well so Without further ado, let's uh, go ahead and get into it. All right, guys. So we got the ceramic coating on. Look at the look how looks like a mirror, man. It's ridiculous. Now you can see some of the areas where I'm still getting the film off of the car. Now you got to see me applying a lot of that in time lapse and taking care of it. But this side, I still got to do this whole side of this car. But let me just take you over here. You can see the rear. Well, you can see the clouds. And then over here, like it's like straight mirror. Look, there's my water meter thing, and you can see that right there in the reflection. 
it's clean. Whew. So I literally just got done washing it, waxing it, and finishing the ceramic coat. And look at that. A couple of drops. Now it's not real rain yet, but there's drops now on it. We'll see what this coat does, if it really does beat it right off or, or not. I guess I'll find out here. Find out here really shortly, huh? Up oh, here it comes. Look. Never fails, man. There's that rain. Oh, it's not going to rain. It's going to pass us by. Shit. Now someone's going to say, well, hurry up and put it in the garage. Nah, it's too late. It's rained on now. It is what it is. It is what it is. All right, guys. So we're starting off a 100-mile trip. 200-mile round trip today. But you know what I got to do before we... uh get into all of that i got to uh give you guys a proper cold start guys welcome on back to TK's garage and today we got a little bit of a vlog style type of video today the green hornet is sitting at 631 miles at the time of us rolling out I know already you guys are like oh my god TK you got 600 and something miles on this car and you got it it only had six miles what the F well look man I drive my cars man and I've been enjoying it but to be honest it was a trip back and forth to Goldsboro um, so that's like 200 and something miles round trip and then um, you know running back and forth to Copart you know it's what 30 something miles each way so the miles can add up um, I think what really got me well what's gonna have us over a thousand before we make our trip down to Houston uh, New Orleans and Houston and up to Oklahoma City is um, like I'm about to run out to Burlington right now um, and that's 101 miles each way to where I'm going so by the end of the day the car should have somewhere around 850 miles on it I know y'all are like what in the F but look man the car was made to be driven and I'm going to drive it just like I did the Tahoe and people were shocked that I put 50,000 miles on the Tahoe this year and I just bought it in January people were shocked that I put so many miles on the damn car you know but um yeah no we're solid we're good to go and uh we gonna roll out so without further ado let's get it have another contestant on hold this L.
There's 120. Woo! Shit. This thing goes from 60 to a buck 20 so fast, it's not even funny. Ah, oh, man. See? He gave up. Even over here, man, man, with his fart can fucking with me for like 30 minutes. Now, now he don't want to hold the L. Get out of here, man. So we're rolling, guys. Um, we're in Pittsburgh now. And we are just about to cross 700 miles on the Scat Pack. We're going to stay on 87 North. We're going up around past Raleigh and past Chapel Hill and all that stuff. And a little west of Chapel Hill. But the big news, I guess, is 700 miles. Really not really big news being that we're going to be uh, like 850 when it's all said and done when we get home. But 34 miles remaining. And of course, you know, I made up I made some good time. It is rainy and crappy out here today. Not much we can do about it, but you can see that the ceramic coating I put on it yesterday is definitely helping. You can just see the water just bead up and roll off, which I am happy and enjoying and no I'm yeah I'm just riding in fourth gear I know oh why ain't you shift it up TK I don't know man look how beautiful it is out here though with the trees this now when it's rainy out here like this and I'm out here in these back areas like Pittsburgh and whatnot North Carolina this reminds me a lot of Oregon um, and I used to have my Jaguar XJS the V12 and I would drive that thing out um, on those roads, you know, going out to like Mulatanal or Multanala Falls. I can't say that shit. Um, you know, living out in Portland and I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. And, uh, I like, you know, people don't like the rain. I'm not a big rain fan, but, you know, I'm not anti rain. It, sometimes it's nice to go out and just go for a drive in the rain. There it is 700 miles. Well, we made it. We are here in Burlington. Oh, man. And the rain was non-stop, man. And it's just, it's actually picked up a little bit more, so. Oh, well. Well, time for the business to get in. Got to get this business business meetings in. And, uh, but we'll chop it up here in a little bit, guys. Well. It is a hazy, rainy day, but we're going to try to get our Copart walk around and auction in today. And today, we're taking the Ram. Man, I need to cut this exhaust. Alright guys, so good morning. Um, I'm on my way to Copart, but and we are in the Ram 1500 Rebel. You see I got my vest and my boots there. We will be on the way to Copart. Oh, man. And major shout out. Damn, I got to remember his Instagram. I got hit up by somebody on Instagram that taught me or showed me how to disable this dinging bullshit in Dodge vehicles. Uh, so major shout out to you. I will drop a, a link to that dude's Instagram when I get a chance. First things first this morning. Um, it's early. Holy shit, it's early. It's 730 and I'm in the truck. What does that tell you? Well... We have a lot of forecasts for rain, but we should have a good break here between about 8.30 and 10. And that's enough for me to get my Copart walk-arounds in, and the auction actually starts at 10. So we'll be able to get that in. So um, more than likely, you guys are seeing this video. Actually, you guys are going to see this video the same day that the auction happens, and then we'll have the Copart walk-around for you guys with the auction uh, and whether or not I won something today, uh, tomorrow for you guys. But um, what I wanted to, let me, now that this damn thing can shut up, what I want to talk a little bit about though is we just broke, uh, we just got past the break-in period on the 392 scat pack and I also, I have a separate video I'm going to talk about, about the naming of the scat pack. I can't believe it this quickly. Um, 
I got I got a cease and desist letter about the scat pack. I, I, I can't I can't believe it. I, I literally can't believe it. But we'll talk about that in another video. I promise. Uh, I'm trying to let my attorney deal with it right now because and until my attorney says otherwise, um, the scat pack will can be, be continue to be called the Green Hornet. And I don't care. So you guys know I'm a little reckless when it comes to legal shit. Like I, that, this is what the attorneys get paid for, right? This is, what, and people will be like, if TK was able to save the money from his attorney's fees, he could have bought a couple Lambos by now. Facts. But um, that's what they're there for. They're to keep my mouth in check for the checks that it writes, and then sometimes these hands be writing checks too, and 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 you know. You got to pay, you got to pay to play, as they say, you know, whether that's with, well, I, I don't, I don't do jail, but you got to pay to play. Yeah, I know how that goes. So, um, anywho, we're on the way down, uh, to Waffle House because I need breakfast. It's early. I'm not trying to be out of Copart, like messed up, man. So let's get it. So. Uh, the first 500 miles of the Scat Pack. Actually, we're, if you were riding with us yesterday or if you're looking here in t earlier in the video today, you saw that we crossed like 850 at this point. Um, I don't know if I'm going to drive it dolo and take it to Houston and put the however many thousand miles it is on it round trip. I might uh, just to make sure it's completely broken before I take it to the track because we are taking it to the track. Uh, when we get down there, I'm, I'm just, I'm going in. So, but, uh, here's my thoughts and impressions on the first 500 miles. Um, it's a brand new car. Obviously it's reliable. I, I couldn't say that about the red eye guys day after tomorrow. So tomorrow is the Copart walk around with the auction live auction. The day after that, I will be giving you guys the full lowdown, showing you the videos everything that happened with the hellcat red eye and why fca basically you know it took a while I, I i it took a while i was a little pissed off um but we ended up getting the situation worked out and i'm very happy with my scat pack and this ram 1500 yeah now you might have a little bit of an understanding of why and and people were getting on to me like tk man how come you won't talk about the hellcat how come listen and this is just future reference for any of y'all that, like, watched your favorite YouTuber. And let's say your favorite YouTuber bought a Lambo, and then it disappears from their channel. And they tell you that there's some legal stuff behind it. Yo, let them make it. <laughs> Yo, because I thought it would be a simple process to, like, make this car go away after the issues that it had. And it's not. It's a pain in the ass. Now, I will say this. If you're in Florida, it's real easy. I have lemon log cars out in Florida, and it took, like, three weeks, and I was done. And I didn't, you know, in one case, I didn't even have to have an attorney. I did it myself. So, you know, Florida's easy. I, I can't say this about North Carolina. It was, like, pulling friggin' teeth. But major shout-out to Cronin Moss. They're based out of Chicago. If you ever have an issue with a car, a manufacturer's warranty, even if it's a certified pre-owned, you may have something called a Magnuson claim that you can file. Um, definitely check out my people over there at Cronin Moss. They have helped me with every single vehicle from my Porsche that was but just trash back in the day to the Audi S8 that was a lemon uh, to now this. So major 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 shout out to Cronin Moss uh for all of their hard work to uh get that resolution and I'll talk in depth about that in that video you guys will get here in a couple days so you're gonna have to make sure you're subscribed if you want to know about it and if you want to see those videos some of you guys have already seen the images of like the coolant system blown up and stuff like that uh, that I have posted on Instagram and I'm gonna repost those now that the legal part is over and my attorney's not yelling at me so uh you guys will get to see those uh, again here soon. Sad, it was a cool car. I'm not going to lie. The Red Eye was a super cool car. But let's just keep it a buck. If you can't drive it, you can't enjoy it, why have it? And one of the things I do like about the Scat Pack was it's like half. It's super cheap. Um, and with the rebates, I'm at like 40, 
39 and some change thousand into that car, I'll be able to drive it for, you know, a year, maybe two and sell it and really not lose any money. And then I might not get rid of it. I might put so many modifications on it. Um, let me know what you guys think about me putting that Hellcat blower on the Scat Pack instead of the Aspen. Um, because that's something that could really happen. If you really want to see it on the Aspen, I'll still do it on the Aspen because I said I was going to do it. But if you want to see it on the Scat Pack, let me know by smashing the thumbs up and um, put the hashtag Hellcat Blower in the uh, comments and it will be something that uh, I get into. Oh boy, I see the police is leaving the Waffle House. What? <laughs> I hope they was having breakfast. Damn. Yeah, your car is all busted in the front. Let me let you park. Stay away from my shit. <laughs> Stay away from my shit. Uh, all right, we're in, we're in here like swimwear. This is the only thing I don't like is the turn knob thingy uh, to like park, but whatever. Anywho, so the first 500 miles, let's go ahead and wrap this up. So the first 500 miles in the Scat Pack have been great. You, you've seen, I have, you, you've probably not seen me smile that much, right? I have smiled ear to ear over this car. Just It's just so much fun to drive. It sounds great. Muffler Delete is coming soon. Stay tuned for that. Um I'm I'm just I'm thoroughly enjoying it more than I have a sports car probably since my M5, and that's saying a lot. I'm a huge BMW guy, so for me to have that much enjoyment, and I have to work. You have to work to drive the car, right? Especially if you drive it hard. This is not a car for a novice. This is not a car for you bums that don't know how to drive a car. That means you dumbasses that go 35 miles an hour in the 50 mile an hour left lane, all right? That's, this car is not for you. Go get a Prius, all right? This car is for people that like to friggin' drive. And if you like to drive, and I, man, people, now I would say that about the red eye, there was so much torque that it was kind of squirrely, right? But the Scat Pack, nah, you can... Like, I got into the turns on wet roads, everything. I had no issues. I love, love, love the car. So the first 500 miles, automatic win. And what's crazy is I'm literally 150 miles away from 1,000. So um, I will give you guys kind of like my review on it, maybe when I get to like 1,500 miles. So probably on the way to Houston, I'll stop somewhere and give you guys my thoughts and impressions, you know, fully on the car. And we'll go over some of the features. We'll look at some of the undercarriage and stuff and look at wear points and all that stuff as we go, as we rack the miles up on the scat pack. And you know, if you know me, we're going to rack the miles up on it. More than likely, the car that's going to get the least amount of miles is probably this Rebel. <laughs> it's only got 183 miles on it. Um, I don't see myself driving it a lot. Though I may use it to tow from time to time. Because the Mamba is going to be given away. and uh, I'm not going to have it, so... And if you want to know more about that, again, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. But um, I've, I've come to the hard decision that, yes, we're going to give the Black Mambo away. The, this current giveaway is going to be up here in just a few days. If you haven't joined and hit the subscribe button uh, here on the channel, you're, you're missing out. Chrysler Aspen on 20s with like 110,000 miles on it. Lincoln Navigator on 24s and $5,000 in cash. There's three different winners. We're going to go in order. Each person gets to pick what they want. Five days away from that announcement, October 17th, uh, early evening, probably like six, seven o'clock at night, we'll do that live stream and we're going to pick winners. And um, it's that easy, man. You're going to have to come pick up your Aspen or come pick up your Navigator if you're in the U.S. If you're out of the U.S., we will sell the vehicle for you. But if you're in the U.S., I'm not selling the car for you. Uh, I just dealt with that the last time I had to sell both. And Restos and Rebuilds, the Oldsmobile really wasn't that much of an issue. But I feel like he kind of got gypped. And we kind of just lost money on it. And it was kind of just not good. And then the Jetta, wow, that was a shit show. So, yeah. Um, you got to pick them up if you win, if you're in the United States. And if you don't want, you know, like you could be like, I can't come get it. You know, give it to the next person major salute that's you know that's what's up but any guys any guys anyways guys 
Oh, let me open. I ain't done that yet. Woo! <laughs> I'm 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 silly. It's too early in the morning, man. It's too early. Anyways, let me go ahead and get this coffee and get my all-star breakfast. But uh, I wanted to say major shout out to y'all. Major salute. Thank you guys for watching these videos. Thank you guys for hitting the thumbs up. Thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you to all the channels that have been involved in the giveaway. Now I got to get my bum ass to Copart and get these videos in for y'all this week. Um, and get this auction done. Ugh. Thank you.